<laughs> Hello there and welcome back. Oh, we're giggling already. We're having a fabulous time. We haven't even started the show, so I know it's going to be a fabulous hour with you too. Uh, we've got the lovely scene, of course, Gail as well with us here. Um, and we've got an amazing hour because, of course, we're talking Daisy Chain Crafts. We are. And, of course, we're getting lots and lots of uh, fabulous brand new projects yes. that we're going to yes. be looking at. And, Gail, I haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? No, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. I haven't seen you since before Christmas. Well, this is it. This is I what know. I was thinking. I feel like I need to say Happy New Year, but it's a bit late now. It's <laughs> yeah. really late yeah. to the party. <laughs> <laughs> say the things that you've brought to us for this hour they are so cute i mean she she's the queen of a plea case oh, she is, is. no it's yeah. very true, true. Yeah. Okay. Sue's, know, it's true. <laughs> sue's the queen of red work and girl's definitely the queen of a plea oh, case no, it, jack of all trades and well, it makes a fabulous team this is a key thing because obviously yeah. sourcing the products bringing the shows together it takes an incredible team behind it and yeah. you, you guys do it time and time again so thank you thank um you. so what we're going to do gail as you know we'll be doing some demonstrations and let you get ready if thank you very okay. much we're going to have a little bit of a trip along the counter. Now, you've probably noticed on your screen there, we've got a bit of a, a blank area, so we've not got the details up. So I will give you those details as we're going on. And, of course, on the website, you'll find it, oh, oh. everything that you need. To, oh, no, I've killed, <laughs> I've killed a bunny you've already. You've killed a bunny already. <laughs> hold on, I have to hold on. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> on the website, our call operators. Oh, oh there we go. There we're we are. We're back in, back in. It's the weather, isn't it, Hayley? It is. Yeah, it's it's horrible. A bit, bit windy it? out there, to say the least. Horrible. You need something to snuggle up to, don't you? You do. You need. What do we need? We need our buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Now the details are up on your screen. You can see here we've got your fabulous little snuggable, um, and I love these. We've got two different options as you can see on your screen there. You've probably figured out already that the pink is the one with the gingham that you can see here, and the cream and the blue is the one that I've got here. You are already adding these to your baskets oh. and checking your baskets out. 20% of each of these have gone oh already. Interesting. Now, now, tell us what we're going to get in our bundle. Okay, well I've put together a starter kit for you, okay. uh, which basically is pretty good. It's everything except your needle and thread and your hot water bottle okay because they are hot water bottle covers although actually I think they could probably stand alone think, just yeah, be pajamas, yeah, pajama they? case yeah, they could also case, be because yeah. they've got little velcro back if I just turn it round mm -hmm. Hayley and you're the same with yours as you can see we put a little piece of velcro in with your kit as well so it just un unhooks so yeah you could put pajamas in there mm -hmm. if you didn't want to put hot water bottle in um, but what I've included is the fur so with my one you've got the white fur the pink gingham and I've got you've got two pieces you've got a piece uh, for the main ears and then you've got a smaller piece for the little details okay um, a piece of pink felt um, the white fabric on here is the lining for okay. the uh, hot water bottle two beads for the eyes which is why I just would say you know just make sure the age you're giving them to they're not safe for the eyes they are beads well I suppose if you wanted to give it um, to a younger uh, member of the family perhaps use a little bit of felt for the eyes absolutely or maybe, uh, or maybe just think about the bead you know mm, that's just yeah. the one thing just yeah. to mention and then I've put a piece of um, the hook and loop the velcro strip there okay. as well so basically you're pretty much and of course the pattern this need the it. pattern don't you yeah, <laughs> so i've got the white one and you've got the green uh, the cream one with the blue it. and the cream has got the you kind of your blue um elements with these now can i just question because with this one we've got um obviously the, the fabric inside yes. here is different to the fabric you're going it to was. get the blue gingham you are going to get the blue gingham yes okay. when just girl made it originally we weren't actually sure whether we were going to completely kit them or not okay um and i didn't have exactly the same fabric so we thought well why don't we just go with pink and blue Makes so yeah sense. so just so you know you will be getting the blue option Lovely. with the cream if I you like want that. it it's nice they're isn't kind of it? cute as have a pair in, aren't they? Because they're really sweet, matching the fabric there now. 30% of the blue has gone as an option. That's the one where you're going to get that gorgeous cream. And nearly 40% of the pink as well. Well, so, I wonder yeah, which would be the perfect. most popular. We have to keep a little eye on, won't we, which is the most popular that's of the it. Now, two. with regards to these, if we're making them, are we okay to sell them afterwards? Yes, absolutely, that's And fine. what about with the pattern? Once we've used this fabric, we can add our own in and still sell absolutely. them? Absolutely, yes, you've still got the pattern, so you can make them. A lot of people make them for craft fairs, for Good selling, idea. for charity. We just ask that you just don't teach from it yes that makes you know sense. that's the main thing or copy them and give them to friends Definitely. so that's you know the, the pattern I mean but yes make yeah. as many as you want and give them out to family and friends that's fine. if you fancy getting hold of yours 14 pounds and 49 pence will either get your white and pink to you or you are going to get your blue gingham with your <laughs> cream fleece well not it's not fleece actually it's snuggable it's like fur fabric it's, it's like beautiful. a fur yeah. it's really so it's a shame it's not soft TV but it is yeah. really lovely and soft isn't beautiful. it they are um, and again bringing value for money just adding those extra bits and pieces like your hot water bottle if you choosing to use it as a hot water yes, bottle don't bottle have cover. to don't have put to put your pajamas in there can 
don't you? If you exactly. Want to. They are really nice. Now, <laughs> something else to get you started. Um, a pliqueing potentially mm. is this particular one. Now, the cushion that we've got here is for inspiration because you've got your two different ways of getting hold of the elements. You've got your applique elements, which you can get hold of alongside your pattern. And then, of course, if you're wanting to get your wool felt, we have got that available for you there as well. So the details on the screen there is going to give you what we're looking at here. Um, perhaps if we bring the details up at the bottom of the screen for the felt, the wool felt, and then if you take both details, you're going to be able to create exactly as we can see here. So yes. talk us around the applique pack to start with, because that's essential. OK, first of all, what I'll say is Gail uh, has designed, she's designed a series of these toadstools. Oh, okay. um, so when we were originally sort of talking about what colour we were going to use for the background, she said, well, the first one I'm going to make in green, but I might make the next one with a grey background, and the one after might be with a blue background. So if people, I know a lot of people do quite to like make a collection. Yes. So we said, well, maybe they don't want to work in the same colour way that we've yes. worked in. So the green and the grey and the blue wool felt are all available separately. Okay. So you can basically, to make it to your own home deck, Makes you know, idea. you can follow yeah. the same as we've done. It's absolutely fine. But I just thought it would be nice to give you the options. With the applique pack, you do get all of the applique, uh, the red uh, felt, you get the white, the cream, the, the stone colour, and all the little uh, little pieces as well that you need to make up the actual toadstool. Plus, we have put together, as you're holding there, Hayley, a little embellishment bundle. Now, we'll just say that some of the colours just may vary. Okay, so you might end enough. up with blue flowers or a yellow yeah. butterfly. So, But they are, are, there's enough there from the same embellishments we've Wonderful. put on there as well. Now, I need to jump in quick and let you know that 60% of the stock has oh, gone gosh. of the applique pack set. Wow. Um, so that's where you're going to get your pattern. Yes, you get your there, pattern. Um, and all the elements that we've just been speaking of. You've even got your fuser web or your heat and bond included in there as well so you can get those pieces in place to create the most beautiful applique as you can see on the cushion there. Now the fabric, I can't get hold, can't get hold, can't get over <laughs> the fact that we are getting half a metre for yeah. 9.99. Now I'm pulling a piece out just so you can see the size yes, of this. Yes, certainly. Because I there's more than enough for the front and the back. Oh yes, yes, there's plenty there for the front and the back of, of it. So it, I think it measures about 20 by 36 inches. Okay. So there's absolutely plenty because the, six, the cushion only measures out to 16 inches. Right, so there okay. will be plenty left so over. So like you said, there's plenty there. If you fold there that is. in half, yes. more than enough to be making your cushion. And it's nice as well because it doesn't fray. No. So if you're putting your zip in place, it's a nice, easy fabric to work with. It is. It's yeah. a lovely fabric. It's about, the, the ratio is about 40% wool to 60% acrylic. Nice. And the reason so I do... you can wash it then. You can wash it right. and the other reason I really like is um, having a mixture is if you ever have sewn with pure wool felt mm. it's incredibly hard to sew through because yeah. it's so dense yes. but this is just enables your machine or your hands to be able mm -hmm. to sew through it nicely so it's a lovely product and we mm -hmm. use it a lot. Lots of people taking the lead from the um, finished example here so the green is the one that's most ah. popular at the moment I've got a feeling if the next one's in grey then the grey oh. will be the most popular. I've seen a sneaky <laughs> peek of the next one and that's in grey and that oh, is super cute as well. Might be so, worth stocking up yeah. on that then. Uh, but one thing I will tell you though is the applique pack the where well, you've got your pattern you've got your felt it has technically sold out so if wow. you've got it in your basket you need to be checking your basket out so, um, so please do take advantage of that quickly um, check those baskets out because if they do fall back into stock then I will let people know because there'll be people waiting for those so 11 pounds and 99 pence technically sold out um, we're going to try and bring it back on extended we're just gonna make a couple of phone calls in the meantime so if you keep a note of that item number I'll have more news on that as we get down the counter because when we get to Gail, we'll have a chat with you soon. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> a bit of scooter along. Yes. And <laughs> um, the next one that we've got for you, this is another fabulous pattern. Um, this one, there's no fabric involved with this one. It's no. a pattern. But oh my goodness, look at what you're going to be able to create. I absolutely love this. And again, this is just made of fleece. So the lovely thing with fleece is it's inexpensive and it's very green because it's made from plastic bottles, as you probably know. Yeah, it's right. recycled plastic yes. bottles. So it's uh, really good for the environment as well, which, you know, everyone's very aware of, I think, fibre and fabrics and things these days and fleece is very inexpensive now you could also use felt you yeah. could use up your scraps and just have have fun in the you know go wild in the aisle so as to speak you know with with the flowers and uh, the little so fence there's so many cute little <laughs> characters in here you've got snails you've got little toadstools you've got little birds as you can see the beautiful flowers as well and you'll notice there are occasional little buttons featured in here now we are going to get some buttons alongside yeah. the pattern yeah I've put together a little pack of bug buttons um, bug but Bug like buttons, that. yeah, they're really <laughs> cute, aren't they? Here. So we've got a little uh, baby, um, a little uh, bee, and a tiny little spider, a caterpillar, a ladybird, a little butterfly. They're just really sweet, aren't they? 
and they just will um, be able to be sewn on. They've got shanks on them, Haley, so they can oh, either be sewn on or you can <laughs> or you can stick them on. Exactly, they're so cute. Now, they? will it be a case of contents may vary with these as well? They may be, but they yeah. will. I will try and just keep them all. But if not, okay. they will. They will be a similar pack with the Lovely. box in. Yes. Just nine ninety nine. You're going to get your big buttons, and alongside your pattern, then of course all you need to do is add in your fleece or your fabric or whatever. Fa um, it could be fleece, could be felt, could be fabric, could be whatever you want. You decide. Now, if you want those, ten percent of the stock of the pattern and the bu um, bug buttons has gone. Um, oh. Something else to share with you. Now, is this a new item as well? No, we I've had them seen last last year. Did you not see them last year? No. I know, we did have them last year. Um, now, this time we're looking at, again, a starter pack. Yes. So you've got your pattern, you've got your felt, and you've got your three projects that you're going to be able to create using Absolutely. those. Absolutely. And it's a lovely value for money pattern, this one, because you've basically got three, three different bag designs on the one pattern. So the one, that's right, Hayley, so the three that you're showing there are, are all featured in the actual pattern itself. We've got the little basket, the trug, and then the little bag with a handle on. Oh, I know, it's a little tail. <laughs> Again, it's a detail, oh, Gail always, and Sue. They always go that extra mile and just think of the little detail, which just makes you smile, doesn't it, when you turn it Absolutely around? Absolutely adorable. Um, £11.47, pence. such brilliant value for me because you've got your felt to get you started. Yeah. Obviously, if you're a plique elements, your larger pieces, you're going to need to add in your own felt for those. But then, of course, you've got the fabulous pattern, which you'll be able to use over and over again similar um, with this if you wanted to make and sell definitely sure same definitely pattern. same Obviously, idea same yeah it's the same for all of our patterns really Hayley Makes we sense. don't mind you know a lot of people do like to make them and you know sell them particularly for charity or you know yeah. to, for a little bit of pin money themselves um, and of course plenty of time um, for you to be creating these I'm not sure when is it is it an April Easter this year it is it's, yeah, um, it's it is, about yeah. the second week I think yeah. it's quite late again mm -hmm. this year yeah. but uh, um, so 161542 plenty of time for you to be creating these um, and it's one of those things that you use over and over again isn't it so definitely uh, yes, um, it's a lovely definitely one to go for now website's a place to go because you'll find all the fabulous things that we've been speaking about and so much more we've got denim on there we've got some fabulous patterns for things like pin cushions little sewing kits all sorts on there so do make sure you add those into your basket as you go extremely busy show for you today um, as we knew it would be so uh, yeah do make sure that you are taking advantage of any of those items as quickly and as uh, speedily as you can because they are literally flying out um, now um, um, of course we've got our fabulous little rabbits which is what we're going to be featuring in the first demonstration so uh, yeah all you need to do is pop those goodies into your basket take advantage of them but be quick as quick as you possibly can i brought a few friends with me and i've dropped, uh, dropped beads on the way but i've retrieved them we've well got done them. well done <laughs> we're okay all's good um so um we've got the fabulous little elements as you can see here uh, before we get into this though um, can I, uh, oh sorry, no, I can't tell you yet. We're having a conversation with Sue. Sorry, I do apologise. I mis oh. misunderstood what was going in okay. on in here. <laughs> well, well, I hope she sorts it out because I want to demo the Todd store. I will see. I'm sure she will. Yeah. I'm sure she um, will. So with the, with the bunny, um, what I've done in the pattern is I have actually, so the cream one, uh, you'll find it hasn't got a hot water bottle in it because I did oh. think, I, I put some um, just padding in there. Okay. Because I wanted to use that as a night dress case. Nice idea, So yes. in, in the pattern, I actually explain how to do it as a hot water bottle and then also how to do it as a night dress case. Okay. And I also thought um, maybe, you know, some people don't like hot water bottles, so you could put maybe one of those wheat bags or something. That's a good point, in yes, it. yeah. Or you could just stuff the whole body, you use it as a stuffed top. Um, one thing I want to um, share with people is it's actually a small hot water bottle, okay. not a, not a big one. Mm -hmm. So if you um, if you're concerned about the hot water bottle, they actually come in um, in sizes. I didn't realise. Um, so the, the normal hot water bottle is two litre, oh. and what's in there is a one litre. Oh, um, right. And I sort of got them initially from that shop where everything's the same price. Oh really? Yeah, but um, but you can get them online and whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so it's got a small hot water bottle in there. So Fabulous. don't don't think if you buy the pattern, your large hot water bottle is suddenly going to fit in there i don't want anybody to be if disappointed you've got a, um, the ability to kind of enlarge your your, your, your pattern i suppose you, you have you got a certain amount of knowledge with with that you can size exactly. up exactly yeah you could and and really you'd only need to make the body a little bit mm. bigger i don't think the head would really yeah, uh, matter that point, much actually, yeah. but if you've got a photocopier or um or you're good on your computer or whatever you could scan the image in and then okay. just in, enlarge it a little bit if you wanted Lovely. And that. So, with that in mind, um, I'm just going to give you a quick skip.
tip through of how to make it. Right, now the white and pink, if that's your preference, just to let you know it's just gone limited stock, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> we won't mention that again. Um, so in the pattern, okay, you'll have two pattern pieces, um, and you can see one clearly says on their top, and then one says the bottom. Now this is for the, ba uh, for the back of the pattern. So what I ask you to do is I ask you to cut the bottom piece and the top piece, and this little sort of line there helps with the seam allowance because then I ask you just to turn the edges over for the top and the bottom. Then once you've done that, put these two pieces to one side, I then ask you to join the pattern. This was just to save on, um, on, the, on the pattern and the pages that we, um, we put in there. So I ask you then to join the pattern, put a little bit of sellotape on there if, um, if you want, and then that becomes the front panel. Okay, so if I just pop that on there, you can see, and that's when you cut the, the front panel. So it's a little bit uh, different, but rather than have all three pattern pieces, that's how we work that. Okay. And then I also ask you to cut a piece of calico, or Sue put in a choice of calico or white fabric. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain what this is for um, a little bit later, but you need to cut one of those as well. So that gives you your first element. Lovely. Then we come on to the, the legs, uh, the arms. Um, uh, and I need to mention. So as I describe this to you today, you might find that you work in a different process or the pattern might be written slightly different. So don't panic, I might talk about the head before the arms or whatever, but this is just for demo purpose. I ask you to cut out the pattern pieces and then what I find when you're um, sewing fleece mm -hmm. or uh, um, fabric and that, a lot of it can move around on the okay. machine and it's quite difficult sometimes to match the edges. So I'm working this in a different way than normal. Okay. So I'm actually pinning the pattern pieces on to a piece of um, fabric and you can see it's right sides together okay, yeah. and then I'm going to sew around it as close to the edge as possible without sewing through the pattern Clever so idea. if I just flip this over okay, you can sorry, see can I just very quickly jump in I do do apologize jump no, in mid sentence I, I need to, to, to mention to you it has technically sold out the pink and white did sell out a few moments ago um, but because we were kind of in the flow of the demonstration sorry. I didn't want to interrupt but I really did need to tell you so there you go that one uh, technically sold out the blue, which of course is the blue version using the gingham and you've got the cream, 60% of the stock has up, sorry, 70% of the stock has gone. You can see how quickly it is changing those updates. So apologies for jumping in uh, there. That's okay. um, please do carry on. And, and I just want to point out, just in case, because I know we've got keen-eyed viewers, this fabric is slightly different to this one. So this is a fur fabric. And because I work independently of Sue sometimes, mm -hmm. I use things from my stash. Yes. I drive a mad doing it. <laughs> but, um, but also, I, the reason I did it in a fur fabric is I wanted to show people that you can do it in lots of fabric yes, yeah. because often when you buy a kit you make the first one and then you get the bug and you want to make several yeah, yeah. so I would have liked to make one out of fleece as well but I just didn't have time so it's just okay. to reassure people that you can make it out of just lots of fabric yeah yeah okay, exactly that, that makes sense that sounds good okay so then so then you can see then I've stitched around um, the pattern if we just remember so I just flip that back over mm -hmm. and then I remove the pattern and then I just cut out the pieces so you can see here's when they're cut out. The good thing with this then is you can just cut it out roughly. You mm. don't have to worry about it's being cool, e yeah. exactly precise because, like I say, um, fleece and fur and whatever can, can move quite a bit. Then you just turn it through. Now, sometimes I find it's a struggle fitting big bits through a little yes, gap. Yeah. So I quite like to use forceps. Ah, okay. Now, you can get these online quite a bit yes. and maybe some of your other suppliers sell them or actually they get them a lot in fishing shops, believe oh, it or not. They use them to take um, hooks out of fish. I didn't know that. Yes. A little bit of pointless information. But you never know. But, um, but Might come in useful in the pub quiz. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but with these, when you grip, um, it grips like a set of um, tweezers, okay. you know. So then you can pop it inside and then you can grab a piece of the fabric and then you can just pull it through. I've been meaning to get a pair of these for, for so long, and every time I come to turn something, I think I must get another. I must get a pair. It's not until you're actually doing the project that you think you need to get hold I, of them. I know. Well, my my go-to before was using knitting needles, and if I had a pound for every time I shoved a knitting needle through oh, a seam yes. or whatever, or the tip of your scissors. Yeah, exactly. It's infuriating. Um, news on our little pink bunny. Um, we've got a vacuum stock. Um, it's on extended delivery, though. We're looking at about ten days um, extended delivery with regards to this one. So it's the nineteenth of February, but 
good news. Um, the cream and blue, if you're going down the cream and blue route, just to let you know that one is limited in stock. I will preempt that we may well have extended delivery of that one as well. But if you want immediate dispatch, you need to be quick. And I know the bit, phone lines are busy. It's just gone crazy on the website for these guys as well. Um, so just make sure you're checking your baskets out as quick as you can. Um, now, oh, quickly, the toadstool cushion as well. Sorry, yeah, that's okay. we will get back to the demo. That toadstool cushion, um, good news on that one. It is on extended delivery as well. So, again, another t um, 19th of February, again, with that one. New 10 days with those on. So, um, we, um, as you can see, they've got the details up on your screen. We'll show you the cushion again in the next few moments. But 971145, that is obviously your pattern that you've got there. You've got your plique pieces with that as well. And, of course, if you do want the wool to make your cushion backing, then we have have got available it's just 9.99 with a choice of colors but the applique pieces to make your design as you can see here they're um, now on extended delivery yeah i will demo that next to, to, to reassure people when you make things that are so popular i have to keep interrupting you oh, Gail. thank you <laughs> oh, well, I, i'm glad because you know I, I i have said this before but to other people who haven't seen it i sit at home making things and i quite like them and i i never know if somebody else is going to like true, them yeah. until we come on the tv and then when Every people time. do i'm like yeah I'm glad somebody else is sharing in the same passion yeah, yeah, as me. Uh, very, very busy. Now, we're back to the hot water bottle. So, OK, we're on to ears. So the ears are made in the same way. OK, again, um, it's, it's a, an unusual technique, but I just make it easy for you. This time, gingham and the fabric. You can see I've put the ears on again, and then I've sewn round. If I flip this over, you can see where I've stitched. Again, I just roughly cut it out and then, again, turn, turn it through. You can, like I say, use your... Um, a, a pair of uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Forceps. <laughs> can okay. <indeed>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tongue tied. That's I normally, okay. you, normally you can't shut me up. You put me on TV. I can't get my words oh, out. Oh no, it's brilliant. I mean, the, so. everything that you bring to us is fabulous. Wonderful demonstrations as well. Thank you. So onto the feet now. Okay. I, I want to explain the feet because I've made the feet in a slightly um, these are kids different way. Got little hearts on. I know. So what I what I found was, and and you sew, so you you know how it's like what it's like. Sometimes you sew um, areas like that, and then the heart ends up in the wrong place. Yes. You know, slightly jigged over to one mm. side. So stick with me this is how I've made it a little bit easier you've got the pattern template to cut out the hearts and then I ask you to cut a piece of fabric okay larger mm -hmm. than this is the paw or mm -hmm. the foot okay so I've, you can see I've cut a piece of fabric larger okay. I then pin uh, my heart on there mm -hmm. okay and then on the sewing machine I sew around now don't panic use whatever stitch you want okay um, I've used satin stitch but a straight stitch will work um, fine then this is the unusual bit okay, okay. you can see th th it's sewn in place I then take my pattern piece and you can see I've cut out mm -hmm. the center so when I turn this over you can still see the line where I've sewn. Yes. I then pop the pattern <gasps> on there. Clever. So now the heart is in exactly the right place. So then you can see here, if I just move this one in. This is that engineering background, isn't it? Were your ears her, her burning <laughs> earlier on? Uh, Good morning, <laughs> Chanda. I was <laughs> no. saying to Sue, you must have had an engineering background to, to be able to, to think the way that you do with regards yeah. to your pattern. Well, it, and, and the other thing is, well, it's partly that. And the other thing is as well, it's, I've been so disappointed over the years. You know when you look at other people's work and it's beautiful, and mm. you think oh how can I achieve this and I really struggled with my sewing machine so every time I make something now I look at it and I think how can I make this as easy as possible mm. or how can I make it that I don't make mistakes because you know you make something and then the heart is slightly to one side you get disappointed yeah. Yeah. so yeah so that's my um, thought process well, we appreciate it thank you um, incidentally just to let you know um, the blue version of your bunny rabbit did sell out it's now on extended delivery so it's the same item number so if you are continuing to order just bear in mind you may find that you've got a slightly extended delivery on those so uh, yeah um, if you wanted to get hold of this this is so um, if you're ordering from this point onwards you will have the extended delivery um, so it's going to be the 19th of February for that one so you can see I've just quickly cut round that piece now and then what I ask you to do is just separate it okay because okay. what I want to do is I want to make sure I cut through the back and I don't cut through the front okay. so then make a little incision in there and then you can turn it through and then the beauty of this is such a clever idea yeah your heart will always be in the right yeah. place and also what it saves you doing i do this a lot with my projects is i'm now going to sew up that little hole on the back yes because you know sometimes when you have to sew that seam on mm. the edge you never get it quite no, right do you? so we put a little bit of stuffing in there to make his feet a little um 
him or her feet <laughs> little, little <laughs> fluffier. I don't want to be sexist with my rabbit. <laughs> oh, this is it, yeah. Um, and then coming on to that, we got time to do the face. Yeah, I think we have. Yeah, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm loving this, learning it all. So the bunny, the bunny face again. You've got your pattern pieces. I try to make it as clear as possible. These little dots here, I tell you to join the dots, and then that's what's going to give the bunny. Oh, so it gives the shape. Yeah, oh. exactly. So you do that front and back. So if I lay this piece down, you can see where I've, I've then removed the pattern, folded it in half, and then I've sewn along this line. Mm -hmm. And you can see this gives then the oh, form so to, the, to yeah. the head. So moving on from that, then you have to put his little nose on. Now, I know for some people, they worry about things like this. And you do have to sort of flatten the head down. Okay. But you can see it will flatten as you sew. You cut out the little nose, pop it on there, with a little bit of glue I normally use. Okay. Use something, one of those glue sticks, because it's quite a dry glue, mm -hmm. and then stick it in place. And you can flatten it enough to sew around it on the machine. And then you can see I've sewn like a little mouth Oh, there. lovely. Now, now, I've done it on the machine. Some people don't like doing it um, on the machine. So what I suggest you do is you could, there's nothing to stop you just doing it with a little bit of embroidery thread. Yes, mm. yeah, like the little um, hand sewing skeins. Exactly. What I do advise is, and, and I tell everybody to do this, you can see this is a little scrap piece of felt mm -hmm. there and a scrap piece of the, um, of the fabric. Pop that under your machine first and practice your stitch. Yeah, practice Quite the different colour. way of sewing. Yeah. yeah, and then that way you'll know that when you go on to there, you don't end up making a disaster. There's nothing worse than putting your favourite piece of fabric underneath there and you get a bird's nest on the yes, back. Yeah. So use your little scraps to, um, to, to do that. Um, what else shall I share with you? Oh, we can oh. step away if you've got, I wasn't too I'm, sure I'm, about I'm who we're getting to with the, the demos. Yeah, I've got quite a bit to, oh, let me just explain one last thing okay, then. Okay, and then, to, then I'll step away and I'll come back. Yeah, to because I, I want to share with people, the um, for those of them who bought the toadstool, I want yes. to share the toadstool as well. So when, you, when your bunny is assembled, mm -hmm. it's quite straightforward. You just put the arms and the legs and, uh, and everything on. But when your bunny is assembled, we want to stuff the front of him. So you see his face is a little bit stuffed, the okay, one that you've yes, got. Yeah. And his belly is a little bit stuffed. So we're going to need to add a line in to do, oh, to right. do that. Okay, yeah. Because if we just stuffed the bunny, when we put the, the hot, water uh, hot water bottle in, it, the, all that stuffing would be in place. So this is a little bit unusual so okay. I, this is why I just want to show it so okay. stick with me on, on there if you imagine you can have to use a little bit of imagination okay. with me now okay if you imagine this is your um, your finished piece yes, okay yeah so if I just take take this one. And um, just let so you know as well, with regards to the stock of those bunnies, the white and pink one, on the extended delivery, 20% of the stock of that one has gone. That's going to get busier because I'm going to step away and do a little bit of a, bit of a recap to allow um, Gail to reset for her next demonstration. So I would suggest that you pop it into your basket now. And of course, that is your extended delivery. As is the case, we've got extended delivery now on the blue version as well. But I'll give you some updates in a minute. Okay, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit on this, but as you can see, this is your two pieces of your bunny now, and I've okay. and I've sewn it together. You know, all the arms and yeah, legs so and everything the are inside. And everything tucked yeah, in, yeah, and I've stitched all the way around the the edge, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Well, to add a line in, if I flip it over, I then put the line in on. Okay, bear oh, in mind, okay. it's sewn together, and I'm now sewing the line in onto the seam mm. allowance. Are you with me? Yes, yeah, I've got you. So okay. outside of the stitching area that you've already got, got. So, yeah. yeah. And then I've, I've Quite sewn. Often you go to the inside of it, don't you? But on this yeah. occasion, it's on the outside. So I'm, I'm stitching onto the seam allowance. And then if you watch now, I'm turning through. Okay. But when I, when I turn through, and you do the same thing for the head, mm. when I turn through, the bunny is still inside out now. Are you with Put me? The line in the, but yes. the lining, you've got that lovely edge of the lining. So yes. now I can stuff in there, pop yeah. a little bit of stuff in. The same thing's done with the head. If you're watching the TV thinking, what is she talking about? It will become apparent when you actually in, come to in do the, it. In yeah. the pattern. And you can watch this on Rewind and just remind yourself. So now I'm going to pop the stuff in in there and pop mm -hmm. the stuff in in there. Sew this mm -hmm. up. And now I'm going to turn it through. It's kind of, you're turning it through, but it's kind of like a halfway house Half, exactly. sort of thing. Yeah. So, so, if, so if we just have a quick look inside then, you can see that it's lined. Half of it is that lined. It's such a professional finish. But it's got, mm. but you could just sew it all together in one go and you'd have all the raw edges there, mm. but I didn't want that. Yes. So, so um, it's entirely up to you. But it means that when you've got the stuff in, you've got a nice edge inside. Yeah, and it's worth okay? taking the trouble to do that because it's I professional finish, Well, I, I, I think so. And it makes it, um, yeah, like you say, looks lovely. 
There you go. Thank right. you. You're Thank welcome. You so there you go. That's how easy it is. Now, if I was you, I would jump onto the website, potentially have a little look at the brand section as well, because there you will find all the other fabulous goodies that the ladies bring to us as well. There's loads of stuff there for you to consider. Some wonderful kits. I mean, you've seen just how busy we are during this hour. This is pretty much matter of course. So whenever you see there's a Daisy Chain Designs um, show, you know you need to be quick off the mark because the designs that Gail and Sue um, bring to us are amazing. And of course, the lovely Sue makes sure that we've got really keen prices with everything. <laughs> so of course, everything is brilliant value for money. Um, and uh, I, I usually would put the shout out for you to actually send us in your pic um, pictures of what you've been creating. Left it a little bit late in the, the show. I mean, it's halfway through. If you've got yeah. something that you want to send a picture of through, you could do studio at chandit.com. But we've got another show at 11 o'clock. We have. We? we have got so a show. You might want to send them in for that Send them in show. for that show as well. That's but it. That was ingenious. I was just so impressed with how she makes it's the that, that idea. That's when it comes to, and Sue's the same as they are, just so clever and think the designs and through. That, this is I would the, never have this done is that. This is why I love the team that you've got there, because you've got all three of you bring something different to, yeah. to the company. And that's the thing. Yeah. We all work so well Thank together. Thank you. So, we are, yeah. I am very lucky. And also, you know, Sue and Gail are both my friends as well, yes, which is right. also, you know, a very important part of it, isn't it? it so is. thank goodness. Now, our new friends, our little pink and blue versions <laughs> of our hot water bottles um, covers, they have been flying out. <laughs> if you've just joined us, then just to let you know, the original stock did sell out very very speedily as we kind of expected because today's chain cross thank you what's not to love <laughs> um, but we have got extended delivery with these now the pink the white and pink one a quarter of the stock has gone of that one now we are going to be going back and visiting um, Gail in a few moments but I would take advantage of the time that you've got here to check out those baskets get these goodies into your basket and if you're watching on rewind I just got everything crossed that you are still able to order these the blue version which is your blue gingham as you can see there 10% of the extended delivery of that one has gone as well and of course what you've got within here are the ability to make these and then you just add in your hot water bottle absolutely really. yeah everything really has pretty much been sort of thought of and, mm -hmm. and done and we've kept the kit quite simple for this mm -hmm. as well we haven't gone too mad with lots of bits and pieces as well so I will try and get them cut as quick because I do Gosh, all the cutting as well do. so I will try and get them out <laughs> quicker than hopefully the 10 days but bear with me it's just Not it just gives me a little bit of a, a breathing space as Not well. a problem at all you're gonna get your pattern as well yes you can reuse that pattern yeah always is very very um, explanatory I mean Gail is brilliant with her instructions she is really I mean with this one we didn't have to do too many for colour photographs but with the toadstools I think there's three or four pages of, <laughs> of toadstool um, instructions all in colour as well mm -hmm. which I think people really seem to like and embrace it easier, and it makes yeah. it easier to see and mm -hmm. she's very good every single step of the applique she does explain on the toadstool which no. I'm jumping ahead with sorry <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a good idea too because you can kind of see it on our scene um, screen there and this is what we're going to be chatting about in a few moments but the details on your screen there and um, the 382302 will get you either your pink or your blue options or potentially both of them if you're wanting to go for both because you could say um, something else you might want to add <laughs> into your basket though the toadstool cushion kit this is brilliant because you've got your applique kit as you can see here which you've got all your starter elements in there so you've got obviously all your different felts you've got some fabulous little embellishments there and the pattern and of course you've got your heat infuse or your bo um, your bonding um, uh, your applique bonding element that you've got there and of course you've got your pattern now half of the stock has gone of the extended oh, delivery gosh. stock because we didn't even have a chance really <laughs> to get to this before it sold out first time around. We are going to see a demo with this in a moment. Yes. Can't wait to see this. I can't together. wait either. I love Gail as a plique. I think she. I do think she is sort of the mistress of, if that's the right word, of well, a plique. She, is, she yeah. is brilliant at Ingenious it. Ingenious ideas. I mean, mm. that the cobbles there, that little oh, path going up oh, to the no. little doorway there. Brilliant idea. And it's all the detail. And sometimes she says to me, "Oh, can I can I do this? Can I add that?" And I always say to, or I mainly say to her, "Yes, of course," because that's really what makes it you yes. know you could just plonk on a toadstool and that's it and it would be lovely same. but it is all those little bits that we all love and go oh look at the little the butterfly personality. isn't it cute you know yeah, so good. yeah they yeah. are really nice now of course that's your applique kit covered you've got the details yep. on your screen but if you're wanting to make the cushion the first of a series of cushions that we're going to have coming to us then we have got the fabulous felt um, fabric now it's a felt mix so it's perfect you can wash with this yes easier to stitch that way as well it is I've, I've tended to you know when I have worked with wool felt before it's beautiful but it is a hideously expensive as mm -hmm. well and I just think it pushes the price up beyond a lot of people's yeah. you know what they're willing to spend on a cushion yeah, um, so we found we've been working with this wool felt for quite a, a number of you know years now and I really like it it's a, I think it's 40 60 mix so 40% nice wool 60% yeah. yeah. acrylic um, it's fine and it's strong but you can hand sew through it more okay. easily than you could
covered with wool felt. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, just to let you know, 60% of the green has gone. Yes. We regularly find that the colour that's going to be demonstrated or the example is the, the predominant yes. choice of people. And that's what we're finding here with the green. But don't forget that little sneaky um, peak. Well, not, it's not a peak. It was a little bit of information that we heard. <laughs> the grey is going to be featuring in the next one because we are looking at a series of we these. We are. Gail is planning several different hostels. So the idea with it was if people, say, didn't necessarily want to use the green or, or they've got, say, a grey, you know, a lot of people have got grey mm -hmm. in their houses these days. So we yeah. thought, well, people Popular. might want to make a series of them in grey yes. or blue. But you can mix and match them out and they do all work together. So you could have, you know, a green, a grey and a blue mm -hmm. and just wait and see what, uh, you know, watch how, mm -hmm. how it works. Well, you, know. it. you might yeah. want to collect all those kits and then Definitely. get going at the end of it. Yeah, Ooh. it is exciting. You're going to have some good willpower <laughs> if you can manage to do that. 307031. Again, if you do want to take advantage of more than one of those, then you can do the same item number, but no additional post and packing. That's why it's worth thinking about getting them during this hour. Um, but uh, mm. yeah, if you're wanting the applique pattern, the details are there as well at the bottom of your screen there if you're wanting those. Um, more to share with you though, because we've got patterns for you as well, yep. as we often do on the shows. And this one is a beautiful design. Love this idea. We've got a large, um, obviously, pillow style cushion here. Yes. Featured, um, creating using the pattern that we've got here. And we're not looking at a pattern with um, fabric, although you are getting your little bug buttons. Yes, I just thought, sometimes I just do it as a pattern. Because a lot of people, you know, had do so. And they have got mm. little bits, of, I'm sure you're the same, you know, bits of oh, fleece gosh, yes. and felt and things. And this I've is extended a into the loft now. <laughs> It's terrible, <laughs> isn't it? I know. Gail and I were just saying last night we could both do with a bit more storage, and we've got lots already, but it's true, isn't it? Whatever you have, you never have quite enough, do you? So I put those little bug buttons with them, because I just thought they're quite sweet, aren't they? Gorgeous. And they're just, again, they're just like a little detail, and they you are. might struggle to get hold of them. They so yeah. they can from Nine ninety nine, 40% of the stock has gone, another popular bundle there. So you're getting your pattern alongside your buttons um, with the item details at 426779. Another thing to share with you, the Easter baskets. Now, these are brilliant. I've not seen these before it's such a clever idea Again, you've got your starter pack with regards to your felt and your pattern those are what you're getting in your bundle gives you the ability for you to add in some of your own felt your own detail to make three different elements here so you've got your two baskets here and you've also got your little bag these are adorable they're, they're going to come out every year for they Easter, really are these. and again i've put a sheet of pink yellow and blue felt and then three sheets of the white in there that's what you're basically getting with your pattern just to get you started so if you wanted to make the little bucket style um, bunny then you can or if you wanted to make the bunny to put on the front of uh, the bigger bag, then there should be plenty of felt for that. But I just sort of played around with just some felts, mm -hmm. cause just to really get people started. And then yeah, you can obviously idea. add whatever you want to it then. So Definitely. it's just a, th a thought. Yeah. And also it just keeps the price down a little bit as well. well this is key. Yeah, I'm that is aware of that as well. So, um, at 11 pounds and 49 pence, so 161542. Couple of things that we didn't manage to get to last time that we're gonna have a quick look at now. Next one being your sewing and quilting bag here. This one is where you've actually got the pattern and you've got your denim to get you started. Yes. I just put half a meter of the navy denim in um, and again the great one with this one is you've got the pattern so once you've made it you know it's very good for using old jeans Clever old idea. denim jacket so on one side you're holding there it says just sewing and on the other side it's just quickly. <laughs> Love the little pockets that you've got on yeah. the side here as well. Brilliant idea. Additional elements that you're going to be able to create with these as well. Things like your pin cushion, you've got your needle case here as well. Yes. And another of those fabrics that I know Gail loves working with. I love Definitely. working with denim as well. I think it's a brilliant fabric. It's to work wonderful with. to work with, mm. isn't it? And the yeah. softer and the older it gets, the sort of the more malleable exactly. it gets, doesn't it? And you can take a little A4 bag in there just in case you're There's wondering. You know, not in sorry, there. an A4 magazine in there so it you can Plenty put quite a bit in there, in there and your little bottle of water yeah it's Perfect. a really handy bag and um, there you go if you fancy getting hold of your pattern and your denim to get you started 14 pounds and 49 pence 206 292 being your item number a couple more things very quickly to share with you and um, these have been on air before but you may well have missed them we're looking at patterns with regards to these so the first one being for your little um, needle case here i love this idea it's like a three-dimensional needle case cute Love isn't it, it? So that sweet. one opens that one opens at the side so the top of the um, little house is your pin cushion the Very side can idea. keep your needles and then if we open up the little garden this is brilliant <laughs> it's so idea. clever isn't it again you've got space in there for a little pair of scissors you can clever. put your favorite needles in there or your favorite pins but the house and the garden Just they go together. together so they're Ooh, really where's sweet the front door? Where's the front door? there, <laughs> there it is, there it is. <laughs> clever and idea. the other one is the house with the shed well, and that it. one that one the roof just lifts back up on there Mm -hmm. uh, and again on both sides so you can put your scissors on one side and your pins on the you other can as well there you go that's, that's you really clever um, now the details on your screen there let's just reiterate so the details that we've got up at the moment are they for this particular set 
Oh, they both come together? They're oh, I see. Yeah, right, they're a pattern you go. set. We've got yeah. a bit of a gap there, so yeah. there you go. There's no fabric involved. Now, notice some little known buttons. Yes, what are these? We put those on as perfect partners because oh, um, later in the next show, we're featuring the Toadstool Known Place Like Home, which has got ah. them on. But I also thought they come in a little pack of three. They and work I'd, quite well, don't they? With they work, they well. could work on any of the things we bought in, so you could add it onto the Toadstool cushion if you wanted to. <laughs> you could add it, hide him into the um, over the fence, or you could even add him onto the sewing home couldn't yeah, you? That. So keep an eye. As you're checking yeah. out your baskets online, you will see those as an opportunity to add them in. And our call operators may well mention them. If they don't mention them, just let them know that you like the known buttons as well. Now, find them. <laughs> £11.49, you're going to get both of those patterns coming to you. Brilliant value for money. Um, so yes, if you fancy popping those into your basket, then please do so. Now, I'm going to head back and yes, see the lovely Go and girl. do the next demo. It's uh, lovely. Oh, is it? <laughs> now, you guys have been jumping ahead on the website. You found these little characters. Now, I believe these are true. Trevor and Tracy, I think they're called. Um, they're going to be featuring, I think, a little bit later on in the, the day. So 11 o'clock, um, it might be worth having a look at these. So, uh, But you're already ordering these. You're taking advantage of them. You must have seen them previously. Trevor and Tracy, they're two different options. As you can see, they're £17 and 49 pence. We have got them in the studio here as well. We might show you them in a few moments. They're just sat it's to the just, side yeah, of Gail. but have my head in the way, haven't I? <laughs> just, they're just peeking over your shoulder, but don't yeah, worry. Yeah. We'll, okay. um, uh, we'll be at, oh, we can get the camera around the back. There you go. Oh, look at that. Professional. Very adorable. Oh, beautiful. I love those. £17.49. And, pence. and again, uh, yeah, check them out on the website. Super. But the total cushion. Everybody's loving this idea. Are we well, going to have a series of these? Yes, yes. So I'm I'm not sure how many in the series no, so far. Enough, yeah. I've, I've got three on the go um, so far. And then three's a nice number, actually, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. And then depending on how popular it is, I might take it a bit further. And I thought it'd be quite nice to get into sort of like, you know, maybe a beach shutty sort of toad oh, stool. that's a good idea. And then maybe towards yeah. Christmas, some Christmassy themed toad stools. Nice. But, but sort of, um, I called it woodland because they won't all be completely toad stools but they'd be like fairy houses okay. things like that you know so um it depends where my imagination goes <laughs> i love it <laughs> so what i find with applique is quite often when you buy a pattern people just say um applique using your favorite stitch mm -hmm. or, and that and then for some people who are new to it um it, you know it's, it can be quite challenging so what i've actually done in the pattern is i have taken you through every single step of every way i sewed each element on okay. so it is quite long but if you're um, if you're uh, experienced, then you'll just do your own thing. But if you're new, then you d don't feel that you're looking at it thinking that that's a step too far for me because okay. it does explain <coughs> explain mm -hmm. it all. Um, also in the pattern, so this is really good this time. Uh, what often happens when I design something, I use elements that people can't get hold of, but everything is in there this time, even okay. all the little flowers and yes. butterflies. Um, but what I have done is the the shapes are also in the pattern, so you can cut more. Mm -hmm. So even if you do this once and then you think I've got lots of other fabric, um, the, all the shapes are already in there, so don't, okay. don't panic about that. And also, I did it in felt. You don't have to do it in felt. Um, all the applique is reversed, so there's nothing to stop you doing it in fabric and then maybe nice, taking these yeah. designs into a quilt. Because I think it'd be quite magical if when we bring up the further houses, you made one big oh, quilt yes. with it. So, but felt's a good place to start. So in the pattern, um, Sue has also given you a product called freezer paper. So um, what you get with freezer paper is a waxy paper. So it's wax on one side and um, paper on the other. So unlike the other fusibles that stay in your work, okay, this adheres to your felt so that you can cut the shapes out, mm -hmm. but then you pull the paper off and it doesn't leave any residue. Okay. Um, because the thing is we're using an acrylic felt. The problem with acrylic felt is if you use too hot an iron, it will melt. Mm -hmm. and um, and distort so we don't want to use too hot an iron and with freezer paper you can use a cooler iron so it works in the same principle as normal fusibles so we're always going to work on the paper side we're going to lay our pattern piece on top of our pattern and then we're going to trace around it. So you can see here where I've traced around. Now trace the shapes quite close to one another. You don't want to waste lo lots of the paper, although there is plenty in there. Then take a pair of scissors and then cut out your pattern. Now you're not cutting on the line at this stage, okay? okay. You're cutting slightly beyond the line. So there we go, we've roughly cut, cut out the piece. Then I take a piece of felt. Mm -hmm. Okay, pop the felt on there, pop the pattern piece 
on top of your felt. Now this is the key piece. I will put a piece of fabric between my iron and the... Oh, like a little pressing mat sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, and that's just to keep the heat really off the... Um, off the felt okay because I don't want the felt to melt and I tend to try to keep the iron just sort of really on the paper okay. so what I'm aiming for it to do is to stick the beauty with this is is if it did peel off if it came off you can just pop the iron back down okay. and put uh, so we leave it on there a little while because what we're hoping for it to do is just to melt the the wax and to, now, to this and particular to hold kit has on. been a very popular kit just to give you a little bit of a reminder it did sell out we're now on extended delivery with this one um, but it's been a very popular one so uh, again it's flying out um, we're hopefully we've got enough to stop to let everybody get hold of this but what I would say is make sure that you do check out your order as soon as you can over half the stock of the restock stock has gone and we Sue's been very generous with the amount that she gave to us but I still wonder whether we're gonna have enough of those but nine seven one one four five if you wanting to get hold of your toadstool cushion pattern and of course the felt starter kit that Gail's working with details are up on your screen and if you want your base fabric so your felt your wool felt to actually create your cushion then we have got the details at the bottom of the screen you've got three different colors with those so you've got your green which is proven to be the most popular you've also got your gray um, and you've also got your blue now you can stock up on these we know that there's going to be a series of these coming not sure when they're coming but what you could do if you wanted to is get more of those so you're ready with those you've got them all you've got your blue you've got your gray and you've got your green these would look absolutely fabulous on any of these. I know um, it's kind of uh, one of those things that we were looking at. They were by the applique pit, um, kits, we were talking earlier on about the, the actual fabric, and uh, it is a gorgeous fabric. It's a really nice weight of it as well. It's one of Sue's favourites. She's been working with the company that manufactures these for many years to go, um, and you can see the de many years to go, many years already, should I say, and many more to come, I should imagine. It's a good size piece. Now, the green technically has sold out, so if that's in your basket, that one has sold out. We're going to have a chat with Sue about that one, and then, of course, you've got your grey and your blue as well, so uh, really big big pieces with regards to these so you can see there your cushion cover that's doubled over you've got way more than you need to actually create with those so uh, yes and um, do um, take advantage of that while you've got the opportunity sorry Gail that's okay so to speed up the process okay for us today I'm just going to show you can see this is ironed onto your um, onto your felt and then what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to cut on the drawn line okay so he, you, you can see it, I've cut one out okay. and then when I peel off the paper you can see there's no oh, residue there's at all left, yeah. but the beauty of it is is that what I can do then is I can actually iron this piece oh, can I use it? back on oh, okay. and then and then just cut around that again Clever. so unlike fusible where you can't reuse yes, it you yeah. can keep and and this normally works about sort of like six or seven times oh, right. before the, the back gets too fluffy and you can't yeah. reuse it it's an amazing project and it's really good good that it is actually in your kit so you haven't got to worry about it's trying yeah. to find it so Fabulous. you can cut out all of your um of your elements lovely and then i just want to reassure people here if i just we just look at these two little pieces okay so these are the flowers that you're getting in your um kit pre-cut ready for you mm -hmm. to go but if we look at these you can see the freezer paper on the back and i've just cut them out so there's nothing to stop you cutting them out. But what I thought was, do you know, sometimes, I mean, I don't mind, I love it. I could sit for hours cutting things out, but some of you might not like it. So you've got your pre-done ones, but there's nothing to stop you making extra. So just to reassure nice you that, little flowers that, those, aren't that they? it's in there. But you probably might have little buttons. Um, I know there's all sorts of different things you'll have in your stash that you could be using. Maybe you've got dyes that can cut out little flowers as well. Oh, so exactly. You thing, if, yeah. you're, um, if you're a sort of paper crafter, and now all these mixed media dyes and mm -hmm. that, you know, you could, be, you could be having really good fun with this. And you can adapt the pattern as mm -hmm. much as um, you want. So d when I applique, I applique in a slightly different system to, um, to, to some people. So some people will put the whole design down Mm -hmm. Okay, and then they'll stitch straight onto there. Now, for me, um, I really don't like tying off all the loose ends. Okay. So if you applique in stages, okay, you haven't got to worry about all mm -hmm. the the rough ends. So in your pattern. I do explain in your pattern and that's why there's so many colour pictures so I explain to you that I've just put down the top of the toadstool oh, and, and then I explain each piece as I put it down right. so stick with me on this for a second when you've got your background fabric I will put the red top down now if you see the chimney 
mm -hmm. falls underneath the red top, yes. doesn't it? So what I do is I stitch the chimney down first okay. and then stitch the red top on top. And then that way, those loose ends of thread, mm -hmm. I haven't got to worry about. Clever. And then I sew all the way around. The, and I've, what I've done is I've left these bits of thread on there mm -hmm. for you to, to see. Because as I add the next elements, all these bit pieces Watch are covered. Behind. Clever. And then when you look at... Um, the little lines on the on the gills of the toadstool. Now you could draw those on in pen if you want, mm -hmm. but if I'd assembled the whole toadstool together and I stitched this line, the thread would stop here and then stop there. Yes. And then I'd have to, to tie off both ends. So by doing it like this and marking the lines on there, you can see where I've moved from one piece to the other. Yes, you see yeah. that? So it means that I can start here, I can sew out, I can come back, move across, sew out, come yeah. back, move across. And I haven't got to keep stopping and starting it's with such my... clever technique. It just makes mm. it that little bit um, easier. And then I'll put my next piece on and then I can sew around the edge and then when I put the last piece on here it will cover all of those um, edges. The, talking about sewing, um, one of the issues you get when you applique is sometimes things can like ruche up because of the amount of stitching and you get a lot of puckering and that. So I always put a stabiliser under my okay. work. It doesn't matter what fabrics I'm using, I will always have a stabiliser. This is Stitch and Tear. It's probably on your website, but it's easily um, available. So Wonderful. that's the first thing. Okay. And of course, that felt that you're referring to there being your cushion, yeah. um, and that's um, your, your backing. Now, the green has sold out. Um, so we've got it back on extended delivery now so we are looking at uh, is it an extra 10 days or so with that one I'm guessing so 19th again as we've been chatting about so you can still get hold of those the grey that is the one that's going to be the next in the series yes. so let the cat out the bag on that one that 80% of the stock of that one has gone lots of you getting ready I'm not surprised with that one the blue is beautiful as well and over half the stock of the blue has gone as well so yeah I think you're loving this because you're going to see how this is going to come together Gail did mention she's got three designs done already we've got three different fabrics maybe yeah. they're going to be featuring in all three designs I don't know I don't know but um, you might want to get hold of those another thing I will mention as well just very quickly we haven't even shown you how they come together the Easter basket trio they have been flying out you've been loving those as well this one is where you've got those felt squares and you've also got your pattern with those limited stock with regards to those 11 pounds and 49 pence and you've got enough fabric there. you've got three of your felts um, in your white there which will help you make those little buckets that we saw and then you have got the um, obviously the addition of the coloured felt there to add your bunnies and of course you've got three different projects in there to be creating you might need to add in some of your own felt to make the larger bag but you've certainly got enough felt there to create the applique, applique to go in place so 161542 if you're wanting those so lovely the, thank you just one other little thing to consider with <coughs> the felt that um, you're buying for the background you, what you could do is you could just put it on the front and then, good idea, and then yes, put cotton on yeah. the back. So if you bought the green one or the blue one or whatever, you could make like two cushions out of it. So you could sort of double up. The the felt that um, we've given you with this kit is enough to do with a zip. Yes, well this okay. is it. So and that's I, a really neat zip. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be enough to do an envelope yes, back. Yeah. Um, so if you wanted to do an envelope back, then I suggest you put fabric on the back and then maybe use the, the rest of the felt to make another mm -hmm. cushion front in that. Now I haven't but looked at the zip on here, but I'm guessing, is it the, the raw edge? of the felt that you're using up against uh, the zip no, there? No, no. Would you like me to show you the, the zip? Just oh, a, got a, a, moment. a second. Thank you. Because I, I know some people are scared by, um, yeah. by zips. Okay, so I'm just going to give you, I'll give you a quick little um, talk through of how I, I did the zip. Yeah, so just to let you know, we've got about four and a half minutes. Oh, have you? Oh, we, should, we should get this in a four and a half minutes. <laughs> and I could always go back to, the, to showing you some of the sewing. So I don't actually like putting in a zip. So this is the easiest way possible to do it. So you buy a zip that's actually longer than the size of your piece of your, your back. Okay. So for me, I used a 20 inch zip. It is a little bit wasteful on a zip, but it's so much, it's so stress free it doing it. It makes it easier. <laughs> exactly. So the beauty of it is because this is a wool mix felt, it will take a steam iron. Okay. Okay. So what I do is I just fold over my little seam allowance and steam it. All the instructions for this is in the pattern, okay? I normally wouldn't use a pink zip, mm -hmm. but it's on here so that you can see what I'm doing. Thank you, yeah. So then I use a glue stick, okay? One of those normal... Um, oh, the ones that look a bit like a lipstick? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. sort of this type of glue stick. Mm -hmm. So, uh, or if you've got the fancier ones, apply the glue onto your, um, onto your zip, but not onto the teeth. Okay. Okay, and then you cozy 
your um, I like that your felt cozy cozy it up there <laughs> and then if you just run your finger along there it'll be on there nice and then now you can see with this you can see where I've stitched and I've stitched with white thread okay so that you can see the stitch in the beauty of doing it this way if you haven't got a zipper foot you can sew it with a normal foot yes yeah, good point you yeah. know so so that's um, one of the the good things with it. then you sew both sides on. Now all your metal work is out of the way, yes. so there's none of that faffing around trying to get it's round. Kicking out as you go round, exactly. yeah, and trying to move the zipper. I uh, know, and yeah. you get that awful wobble, and then you get really <laughs> disappointed in that. So we can see here, here's one where I have stitched with a green zip and, um, and green thread. Now the only thing to remember, and this is vital, okay, when we now sew the back of the cushion to the front of the cushion, okay, we need to move this zip. Oh, yes. <laughs> because if we don't, we can't open our cushion. OK, so we move our zip down. Now, sometimes I put a little stitch there or pin just to hold it in place. We pop now the front of our cushion. I love that. It's like a mini cushion. It is, a little <laughs> mini one. I just think it's easier than me. No, no, it makes it. sense. It's good a good way of doing it. And then I stitch all the way around. OK, so if I just bring this one in. Oh, wonderful. That two, um, to all the restocked stock. Is that two thirds, did you say that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the plea case set. So, yes, yeah. Busy, busy, busy. So you can see now where I've got the zip in there. And what I like to do is I like to sew some little stitching along to reinforce either side. And you can see that the zip is open in there. And then what I would normally do is I'd take a pair of scissors, cut off either end. I'd cut off a little corner mm -hmm. all the way around so it neatens it. Then you can just, you can put your fingers in there. Obviously this is small, so you'd normally have um, a, a bigger cushion. Open the zip right out. Okay, and then turn it through. So imagine now you've cut off the end of your um, of your your zips, but just for demo purposes, I've left them on, and then turn it through, and then you can do up your zip. I love that as a little purse or something like that. Yeah, as well. exactly. I love the no expense spared here at Achanda. We have a chair <laughs> made, for <laughs> chair. <laughs> made for two. Yeah, and <laughs> Good job, we're friends, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> We've had a really busy hour, so I know. thank you for bringing us more well, of these kits. You've got your work hat I'm going to be you. busy. Going. Well, we're not going back tonight because the weather's so bad. Yes, so yeah. I've got a big box. Dale doesn't know this yet. We've got a big box ready to ready to start making the toadstool kits up. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> she thought she was having an afternoon off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no such luck. Well, we've had a really busy hour. I mean, fabulous designs. Gail, thank, thank you. you. Always thank love your demonstrations. And I love the way she makes it so simple. I know, Those she's a clever girl. Thanks. techniques. So I hope to share you. some more applique with people as as we bring the more cushions oh, I'll, gosh, I'll show yeah. how, how I do the stitching hopefully next time yeah no well, this is it we just sadly run out of time that's the only thing but do make sure you come back and join the ladies at 11 o'clock got another fabulous hour I know Yanis will be looking forward to it because I know a couple of these little mates are going to be appearing <laughs> during that hour, and you've already found them on the website website's a place to go you'll find everything that we've been chatting about there brilliant reviews if you do need to check out a review by all means please do so but I think um, you'll realize that just how busy we have been if you invested in any of those kits previously you know the quality of the goodies that you're going to be receiving with those so thank you for joining us again thank you again oh, ladies thank you, Hayley. Thank you Hayley. Oh, I really enjoyed it can't wait till next time as well. <laughs> I might just put Yanis in a broom cupboard and come out myself <laughs> you never know uh, do stay tuned though Yanis is coming up straight after the break and I will see you a little later at 10